Good morning. Welcome to Mama's Best Cooking and More. Today we're going to make our grandkids' favorite breakfast when they come to spend the night with us. I don't even have to ask what they want for breakfast. It's always waffles. So we're going to show you how to make your own waffle mix this morning. Um, you don't have to buy the box kind. But before we get started, let's wash our hands. I have a, a Cuisinart waffle iron that's heating up here and we're going to spray it with um, ham, top and bottom. Now you can get any kind of waffle iron that you'd like. I saw some real cute ones the other day shaped like Mickey Mouse. So uh, that would be something good for grandkids. <clears throat> All right, our ingredients are one and a half cups of self-rising flour, one tablespoon of sugar, and we're going to combine that a little bit, mix your dry ingredients together. Then we have two tablespoons of oil, vegetable oil, one egg, and three-fourths cup of whole milk. And we're just going to mix that together. <clears throat> There's really no need in you going out and buying a um, boxed pancake or waffle mix. This works really well for either if, you, if you, your family likes uh, pancakes rather than waffles or you don't have a waffle iron, this will work well uh, for making pancakes too. You may have to thin it just a bit for your pancakes, but for our waffle iron, we, we want it to be pretty thick. If you want to look, see it's, it's fairly thick. We try to get the lumps out. And then we pour it onto our hot waffle iron. This recipe makes four four inch waffles and if you're cooking for um, several, you'll need to either double or triple this. And remember, if you're making pancakes, you might want to up your milk um, to about a cup instead of three-fourths of a cup. But let's let these cook and we'll get right back to you. All right, our waffles are done. They're nice and brown. And we're getting ready to remove them from the waffle iron. And what I like to do is have uh, soft butter on hand so that I can spread it easily on the waffles. And also, I like to warm the syrup just a bit. Okay, we have warm syrup and soft butter to go on these delicious waffles. Our favorite breakfast is all finished easy to make and you you always have the ingredients here you don't have to worry about having a box of pancake mix or waffle mix uh, try this with your family i know they're going to love it or make pancakes if you'd rather um, hope you'll try it and enjoy it and be sure and watch our next video coming up real banana pudding now let's talk about our bible verse for november do everything in love 1 Corinthians 16, 14. Um, try to keep that uh, in your heart and remember it and, and share it with your friends and your family and your grandkids. We need to know Bible verses. Uh, there comes a time when you might need to use this to help you get through the day or to help you make a good decision. So um, keep that in mind. Let's try to remember these short verses. As I've gotten older, it's a little bit harder to remember verses, but I'm figuring that if I can work on these short ones and hold those in my memory, then maybe you can too. See you later.